This is probably the most polarizing topic a meteorologist could ever talk about. Snow in the south. And I say that as both a southerner and a meteorologist. I'm gonna hold your hand when I say this. There are somewhat two favorable patterns that could bring some sort of wintry precipitation to the south in the next week. I don't need you running to Food Line or Piggly Wiggly just yet though. We really need to separate fact from fiction. After a stretch of milder weather, we're looking at a pattern flip early this week. So we had milder weather last week. A cold front swept this weekend and it made today a lot cooler and today is Sunday, January 11th. Another cold front arrives midweek and that really pushes down this cooler air and sets the stage for the chance for winter weather. The setup we usually see across the south involves cold air chasing moisture. If you want snow, you have to already have cold air in place before the moisture arrives, and that's going to be a really big question with Wednesday and Thursday. So here's the cold air. It's here later into Thursday, but the moisture seems to arrive Wednesday night, early Thursday. What I'm about to show you is the GFS model. It's a solid model. Basically, it goes out far, which is really nice. But playing this out, it's quiet, there's a high pressure dominating early in the week, that's why it's going to be so sunny, uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. We see winds pick up late Tuesday evening, you can tell by the tightening of those bars, and then there's the front. If you couldn't tell by the very deep blue color, 540 shows cooler air sinking in. That is a trailing upper level trough behind the front. It helps really push home that cold air. But you see it's a mess. We got a lot of green. We got a lot of blue. Just in case you don't know, green is rain, blue is snow. It does seem like it's going to transition over at some point for eastern Tennessee and western North Carolina. I think that's very fair, especially for the plateau in middle Tennessee. You've got the higher elevation. It's typically cooler. And then as you approach the Appalachian Mountains, yeah, that's how you pronounce it, by the way. I'm a local. Then yeah, I think they have a really solid chance at seeing snow. More than others, at least. As this plays out, then... We could see a little bit of moisture lingering in middle Tennessee, all the way up into Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, and then even the triad area of North Carolina could see a little something. So this is Wednesday night, about 10 midnight-ish. I mean, flurries in Alabama, not something you see super often. Timing-wise, it looks to be Wednesday night into Thursday morning and then portions of Thursday because that is when that colder air is firmly in place for the Tennessee Valley up into portions of Kentucky and the Appalachians. As of right now, accumulating snow doesn't seem too likely with the exception of those higher in elevation like the Tennessee Plateau and along the Appalachian Mountains. Temperatures near the surface stay marginal and the system itself is moving along fairly quickly, but the combination of the two usually limits accumulation amounts. But that doesn't mean you can't see flakes. Snowflakes, flurries, even a brief rain to snow transition is going to be possible, especially late at night or early in the morning, where temperatures are really at their coldest. But seeing snow fall and seeing snow stick are two very different situations, especially in the South. Y'all know that. Hope is not lost for my winter weather lovers. That's why I'm bringing up this map. I love this map. I think this is a really good way to look at winter weather. So this is the probability of snow one inch or greater, but this does go through January 25th. I wanna add that. This is the Euro model, by the way. All of that red you see, that again is on the Eastern part of Tennessee, the Western part of North Carolina, up into Virginia, Kentucky, West Virginia. That red is basically 90 to 100% chance of seeing at least an inch accumulation that is going to be the area that has the best chance. I will say, but for my winter weather lovers, things are trending in your favor. Every time I look at this map, those colors deepen just a little bit. They get a little brighter. They get a little more hopeful for snow lovers. So that's interesting. That's a big part of weather is looking for those trends inside of models. When you see those widespread snow maps online, it's important to remember what they're actually showing. Many of those models are based on raw model output and they just don't handle southern setups very well. It's very easy, like I just did here, just grabbed this map and I could post and add whatever text I wanted and toss it on social media and get clicks. So you gotta really know where you're getting your information from. I'm also not saying this is a total bust. I think this is a setup worth watching, especially if you live anywhere in the upper Ohio Valley or the Ohio Valley area, down to the Tennessee Valley, the Northern Gulf states, and 
and the Carolinas and Virginias. No matter what, this has a really good chance of being messy. I don't think it's going to be 8 to 10 inches for most of us. But is there a good chance of seeing snowflakes? Yeah, and that's super exciting, right, for southern states. So it's absolutely worth watching and paying attention to. Even a brief period of snow or freezing temperatures creates slick spots. And the South isn't built for that. We're not prepared for slick spots or snow chances. We don't have the resources or the infrastructure. So do take caution on bridges and overpasses. Did you just hear Miso? He's excited for the snow. This isn't the only system that we're watching for snow potential this week. Stay ahead of the social media hype. I wanted to show it to you. So we already talked about this is Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Scoots on out of here after hanging out in the mid-Atlantic. Here's the weekend. Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a week out. This is Sunday, January 18th. I don't like talking about snow a week out for a lot of reasons. It's just not reliable. Is the pattern there? Could it be favorable? Sure. It's too early to know. Is it hinting at another system, maybe bringing us winter weather? Sure, and that's important to keep in the back of our head, but realistically, it's too far out to say anything meaningful about this system. If someone is giving you totals and in inches about next Sunday, no girl. No, they're not. Winter weather details, anything truly beyond five to seven days, are notoriously unreliable, especially in this part of the country. It'll burn ya. So we're just gonna, we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it in our pocket, we're gonna think about it. We're not gonna worry about it. We're not going to the food line. We're not going to the Piggly Wiggly. But it's fun to look at and it's fun to think about. I don't even want to give you snow totals for Wednesday and Thursday. That's how difficult forecasting for snow can be. Miso has many opinions today. His lunch goes off soon, so he's very opinionated right now. Here's your key takeaways. Yes, the pattern supports colder air. And yeah, there's a window where some parts of the South could see some sort of wintry precip, whether that's a rain to snow mix, a couple of flurries. But no, this is not a guaranteed snow event. And it's definitely not a widespread snow event at this point either. This is one of those situations that needs to be monitored day to day as new data comes in. It's really going to be important to watch the track of the upper level system and how quickly cold air moves in to the surface. Because in the South, and I'll say this a billion times, cold air loves to chase moisture. We need cold air in place for snow. And that's hard to do in this area. I'll be tracking closely. I'll be posting updates as we get closer and confidence increases. I'm really big on no hype, on transparency, and on education. And I hope you felt that in today's video. If you want to stay up to date with snow in the south, like, subscribe, comment, interact with my video. I'm so happy you're here. I could talk about the weather all day. Truly. I made it my day job because I love to talk about it. I'll also be sharing updates on my other social media platforms, more so hyper-focused on Middle Tennessee and Kentucky because that's where I'm located, but I'm so passionate about all of the South. I've lived all across the South all my life. So thanks for being here. Until next time, love you later, bye.